Hey, I'm Ashley Priest, and you're now tuned in to Conversations with the Priest, and I have Mr. Jay Quest. <laughs> and I met him at an event. I was a judge for a lavish entertainment event at Hollywood Studio Bar and Grill, and it was mad dope, about 10 artists performing. I was a judge, so were two other people. And this guy had, you were just very positive. You had the crowd moving, so much energy and everything. And, and you won. So I said, I have to get you on Conversations with the Priest right. and interview you. So how did it feel, you winning that, that um, award that night? Um, man, it was, it was a great feeling. When I was performing, or actually throughout the whole day, I forgot it was actually a competition. Yeah. So I just treated it as like another show, you know. And by the end of the night, I totally forgot that it was a competition. And then I was just talking to my family and everything. And then I was like, and the winner is. I was like, oh. I <laughs> oh, yeah, that part. That. Yeah, because yeah, I think you were about to leave. Like, some people left yeah, and everything. So I'm leave. like, oh, my gosh, I hope he doesn't leave. Yeah. Like, let's get this vote in yeah. so he can know that he won. The yeah, award. my family wanted to go eat at Roscoe's and whatnot. <laughs> so I was like, all right, let's go let's eat. Go. And then I was like, oh, and the winner is. So I was blew me away. It was, it was a great opportunity though, yeah. definitely. You met yeah. some other great artists oh, yeah. there great and everything. Yep. Yeah, so music wasn't, well music was always your thing, but not mm -hmm. rapping. Yeah. You started true. off as a drummer. Yep, that's and true. How did that happen? Um, my freshman year in high school, I joined the marching band, mm -hmm. and since then I've just been playing drums all throughout high school. I did drum, drum line, did the drum line thing. Oh, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like the little Nick Cannon. Yeah, I know. School. That's what inspired me. That movie drum line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like that. And um, after I graduated high school, I was able to do like TV gigs. I played drums for Enrique Iglesias. Look at you. Yeah, okay. did. So you think you could dance and you awesome. know, America's Best Dance Crew and all kind of random TV shows like that. And that's how that started, you know, playing drums and kind of like amplify my passion for music. So mm -hmm. ever since then, it was a wrap. So how does a drummer turn into a hip hop artist though? Um, I grew up with cousins. My cousins, they did hip hop music. So hip hop music was always around me. Mm -hmm. But, you know, drumming was more my thing. I was kind of on the background. You know, I used to help them make their beats and stuff. Okay. And then, you know, I just made that transition from drumming to hip hop. Nice. You're a great hip hop artist. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, what is your favorite type of music though? Because some hip hop um, artists, like, yeah. I had one that liked Sade. I was like, what? Yeah, <laughs> Sade is good. I love Sade. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm big on jazz. You know, since I started off on drums, jazz was my main foundation. Mm -hmm. So I take you know, jazz and try to bring it into hip hop. I like to call myself a jazzy poet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you know, I'll try to that a little bit. I heard on one of your songs actually another day that mm -hmm. you call your music like therapeutic vibe. Yeah. I like that yeah, because you. it's so true. Yeah. I listened to your mixtape a 30 hour day. Right. And I listened to it and it was so calm and mm -hmm. cool yeah. and just laid back mm -hmm. and with great lyrical content yeah. though too. Thank you. Yeah. What's your favorite song on that mixtape? Um, My favorite song that would have to be 30 miles per hour. 30 miles per hour is definitely my favorite song. Crazy story about that. I actually, uh, I rode it while I was driving on the freeway and it was traffic. <laughs> Were you going 30 miles per hour? Yeah, I was, yeah. And I was going 30 miles per hour and the song just came to me while I was in traffic, LA traffic, you know how that is, so. Yeah. yeah. And, but it was, it was really good because the beat was a little more upbeat. Yeah. And like the rest of the album was real cool and chill, mm -hmm. but I love 30 miles per hour Thank and um, spending. Big spender. Big spender. Big spender, Big spender. Yeah. <laughs> Recently, let me read this. It says, I think it's funny. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute, no, she yeah. didn't. <laughs> I didn't know you got that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny when rappers result to revenge rap songs. How about you enlighten the world with something more positive? Yeah. Now, where was that coming from? Um, because I think I tweeted that like actually two days ago or something yeah. like that. Um, <laughs> I know a lot of rappers, and they're you know, it's always beef between up and coming rappers for whatever reason, you know, either one's trying to make it to the top faster or, you know, they started off as a group and then they separated or, you know, just random stuff like that. And uh, one of the rappers that I knew, they released a, like a diss song. Mm -hmm. and I was like, you know, that's dumb. Why make a diss song? You know, why try to bring somebody else down when you could just make, you know, a regular song and, you know, make something positive for the rest of the world? It was... I was, that just threw me off. I was like, come on. <laughs> so no battle raps for you ever? Oh, no, never, never. I've never battle rapped. I've never made a diss song. Okay. Just, You're not into yeah, it? Yeah, nah. you like, all positive. Yeah, not my thing. I'd <laughs> rather focus on making an actual song instead of, you know, trying to bring somebody else down. Yeah, pick everybody else up. Mm -hmm. And 
go beyond. Oh uh, yeah, you gotta go beyond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know more about that. But. Um, to go beyond, that's just to you know exceed the negativity around the world. There's a lot of negativity in the world. You know, we got wars, we got you know child abuse, we got women abuse, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. So to go beyond is pretty much just to exceed what everybody limit you to. You know, everybody always have certain expectations of you. Right. So you just gotta go beyond yeah, those that. expectations. Yeah. So how have you been going? Um, you know, when I first started off doing music, everybody told me that, you know, it wasn't going to work out, you know, they said that it was stupid, they said, you know, try to be a doctor or be a fireman or, you know. Be a doctor, be a lawyer. Yeah, be an English teacher, you <laughs> yes. know, but, you know, I've won awards, you know, I was able to be on TV, nobody thought I'd ever be on TV. I've traveled to Arizona, Ohio, you know, a few couple of states around the world and, uh, you know, I've, I'm able to do it, I'm able to go beyond, so. I live by that philosophy because it's working out really good. That is good. awesome. So you call your fans? Beyond Goers. Beyond Goers. Yeah, <laughs> I like beyond that. Beyond Goers, yeah. I like that. I'm a fan, so I'm a Beyond Goers. <laughs> High five on that. All right. No, yeah. I like to do that. Oh, there we go. Uh, 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 yeah, all right. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're actually writing new songs for TV and film? Yeah. Um, How did that come up? It's, it's funny. Um, my cousin, he's actually the president of the label I'm signed to, First Kings. Okay. And he had one of his songs placed on BET recently. Oh, really? Yeah. What song? Um, it's called Party Girl. Okay. Yeah, Party Girl. That was on BET, and it was also on a new movie called Not Another Celebrity Movie. Okay. Yeah, and that's coming out really soon. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, we're working really close with a producer who gets all his music on TV and film and stuff. So nice. I've been getting into the studio with him like once a week working on new material. Nice. Yep, Good luck. Yeah. Congratulations nice. on that. Appreciate it. <laughs> what other upcoming uh, events do you have going on events or whatever else? Um, I have a show on the 29th in mm -hmm. Pomona at Aladdin Jr. It's all ages, $3 entry. Really all true. ages? Yeah, That's all really ages. Yeah. Well, your music is positive, yeah. so you know to come. <laughs> right? Yeah, so I got that on the 29th. Um, and hopefully headlining shows. I'm working really close with Lavish Entertainment. They're going to be doing my headlining show pretty okay. soon. Awesome. So that's in the works. And new album coming soon. Yeah. I can't say the title yet. I was going to say, can you give me something? <laughs> I, I, can't, I will say that it's going to be an extension from 30 Hour Days. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be an extension of that. So what could we expect? Is it more of that? Mm. I can't say. You can't say anything. <laughs> I can't say. It, it, just know that it's going to be dope. <laughs> All right, but you have to come back. Oh, yeah, definitely. You drop yeah, that in. Definitely. All right. It's going to be dope. All right. So where can the people follow you just to hear your music now? Um, you can follow me at Twitter, on Twitter. On Twitter. This is Jay Quest. Check out the music at jquestmusic.com. And like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash this is Jay Quest. All right, Jay Quest. It's been a pleasure having you here. Likewise. And make sure you follow me as well on Twitter at Ashley Caprice. And on Facebook.com backslash I am Ashley Caprice. Thank you so much, Jay Quest. And I look forward to you coming back here. Oh, yeah, definitely. We got it on tape. Oh, yeah. <laughs>